What if everything around us, the people, the stars overhead, the grounds beneath our feet, even our bodies and minds, were an elaborate illusion? What if our world were simply a hyper-realistic simulation with all of us merely characters in some kind of sophisticated video game? This, of course, is a familiar concept from science fiction books and films including the 1999 blockbuster movie The Matrix, but some physicists and philosophers say that it is possible that we really do live in a simulation, even if that means casting aside what we know or think we know about the universe and our place in it. If we are living in a simulation, then the cosmos that we are observing is just a tiny piece of the totality of physical existence, said Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom in a 2003 paper that jump-started the conversation about what has come to be known as the simulation hypothesis. While the world we see is in some sense real, it is not located at the fundamental level of reality. The founder of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Play Labs program and the author of the simulation hypothesis is among those who take the simulation hypothesis seriously. He recalls playing a virtual reality game so realistic that he forgot that he was in an empty room with a headset on. That led him to wonder, are we sure we aren't embedded within a world created by beings more technologically savvy or advanced than ourselves? Detailed as they are, today's best simulations don't involve artificial minds, but Terrell thinks the ability to model sentient beings could soon be within our grasp. We are within a generation of being those gods who create those universes, he said. Not everyone is convinced though. For starters, there's no evidence that our world isn't the array of stars, galaxies, and that it appears to be. Why advanced beings would bother to simulate homo sapiens? Just as you can simulate anything else, you can simulate brains. True, we don't yet have the technology to pull it off, but there is no conceptual barrier to it. And once we create brain simulations sufficiently detailed and accurate, it is possible that those simulations would generate conscious experiences. Will we ever learn whether the simulation hypothesis is correct though? There is a remote chance that one day we might encounter a telltale glitch in the simulation. You could certainly imagine a scenario where a window pops right in front of you saying, you are in a simulation. Click here for more information. <laughs> that would be a knockdown proof, to be honest. I mean, I wish that were to happen. But more realistically, physicists have proposed experiments that could yield evidence that our world is simulated. For example, some have wondered if the world is inherently smooth or if at the smallest scales, it might be made up of discrete chunks, a bit like the pixels in a digital image, quite frankly, like that. But if we determine that the world is pixelated in this way, it could be evidence that it was created artificially. A team of American and German physicists actually have argued that careful measurements of cosmic rays could provide an answer. Thus, the James Webb Space Telescope comes in with its capabilities. The James Webb is expected to bring in more data of direct observations of the early universe, a clue to the correct value of the Hubble constant, and consequently to the question of new physics on the horizon of science. It will also observe formation of planetary systems and atmospheres of exoplanets in the near universe for signatures of life. Thus, James Webb has such broad capabilities that it will refine our picture of the cosmos from very early stages to the present, and it could potentially explain everything. So we're quite very excited. We are on the brink of discovering the truth or the theory of everything. But on another note, if you want to know more how the James Webb finds its planet atmospheres and analyzes them, then check this video right here because we delve into the details of how Webb is capable of doing that. Cheers, see you in the next one.